Wow, what an amazing day at Clifton. Decided to come out, do a bit of a run along the top of the road, and then come down here for a swim afterwards. I was swimming yesterday with the team and it was beautiful, pretty warm, 14, 15 degrees and crystal clear. So I thought I have to make use of this amazing opportunity of these awesome conditions. Super stoked to go for that run and then get into this awesome water. Maybe next time. <laughs> So a run going well, I can't see clearly on my viewfinder here, but I started somewhere over there, Clifton Forth. It's 1.6 k's to this point, this outlook going well. Running is definitely my new area that needs a lot of improvement. Been doing a lot of swimming, but running and hiking and trail running is the next thing I'm challenging. So every bit counts and this is super fun. Beautiful weather, beautiful ocean conditions, stunning run. Piping some fun tunes through my AirPods via my Apple Watch. I want to do 5 k's, so I want to do two and a half that way and then two and a half back and then do my swim. Just got to get back to running. So this is my marker, corner of Victoria and Seacliff. It's 2.5 k's. I'm just going down this road to check out the stunning view. And then I'll head back to forth to check out this beautiful view. Oh man. Time to head back to forth. Not far now, there's our destination. Good thing with parking your car or your bike and then running one direction is you gotta run back. Otherwise you ain't getting home, otherwise you gotta run home. And that's much further, so let's get back to the beach and into the water. There we go, that's the run, it's done. Not sure how far I'm gonna swim. I'm gonna aim for 1k. That's two and a half laps of Clifton Forth Beach. But I did swim this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today's Thursday, so I've been doing well. And this run has been an achievement for me. Another option would be to go up Lion's Head, maybe not all the way to the summit, but a bit of a hike up Lion's Head and then come down here for a swim, so. But that's it, 5k is done, time to swim. <laughs> wow. <laughs> With these types of conditions, you don't even have to go to the Maldives or to the Seychelles or Zanzibar. This is so perfectly, beautifully clear and warm. It's like a swimming pool. I mean, yes, it's not warm, warm, warm. It's not like the water in Thailand or whatever, but it's crystal clear and it's really pleasant and bearable. Look at this. Oh man, stunning. So grateful to be out here and running and swimming. Gotta get, get my head wet. Oh. Okay, now we're in, time to swim. I'm gonna aim for two and a half laps of Clifton, which is one kilometer, but it's mostly just some in here to enjoy this beautiful water and cool down. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> It's so beautiful and clear, but it's so calm, so I can swim in the shallows. I don't have to go 
into the deeper water because of waves so for safety that's obviously really awesome I can just stay nice and close to the shore pretty much where I can stand so it just needs to be about you know <laughs> waist deep even or chest deep and I can happily swim in that water this is so awesome I'm so glad I came out this is pretty much as good as Clifton Forth gets so especially also this time of the day it's not too crowded absolutely beautiful if you're in Cape Town and you like beaches definitely check out the Clifton beaches definitely check out Clifton Forth <music> My GoPro unfortunately ran out of battery, but I had an awesome swim. I did a 5k run and a 1k swim. Really happy with that. And wow, what a beautiful day. It doesn't get much better than this at Clifton in Cape Town. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Wishing you an awesome day. I'm Sean Toomey, and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.